Well, we installed uh, short yardage and goal line today, which is always a fun day because you get to go down there and do a little live goal line. I think the biggest thing that I've noticed here in the first four or five practices is um, the young guys, when things don't go their way, um, learning how to play out of it, learning how to refocus on the next play, not get frustrated uh, because, as we all know, every game has a big ebb and a big flow that's constantly changing. And, the, and the, play, the teams that are confident, they're mature, they don't get frustrated, don't get affected, are the ones that learn to play out of it or that play out of it. So we got a lot of work to do from that standpoint. Um, we all want to talk about Is that a natural progression? I mean, you talked a lot last year about the team watching the scoreboard. And all yeah. Do you think it's just a natural progression for, for the guys having been through what they went through last season? Uh, I, just, I think right now it's more uh, an issue of, of youth. You know, and um, hadn't been in the fires enough. And so, um, you know, I told him, I had, nobody's ever gone through a season where things go your way all the time. And rarely do you ever go through a game. So why are you surprised when things stop going your way? I, I mean, it's like, you know, it's like the guy that, that gets upset when he misses a four-foot putt. And you've played with him 15 times and every time you play he misses about three four foot putts and you say why are you surprised you always miss it I don't know why you get so mad same thing in football things don't go your way so when it's not going your way don't be surprised just say that's part of this I got to play out of it and we're just young so we can't do that right now we get you know we get the molly grubs when things start heating up have you been seeing the improvement you wanted to see watching film over the last week and to this point? Well, I've, I've seen a lot of physical improvement, yes, and that's been encouraging. I think we have a lot of good young talent, um, especially on offense, uh, but it's a long way to go, you know, uh, to be able to play with consistency. Having Justin Hunter doing track workouts during the offseason, has he changed at all since before? You know, December. Well, Speed, he changed actually. He won, I think, his first three events when he was full time football. And then he went to track. And then he didn't win anything after that. Um, so he changed. He didn't jump as far when he went to track as he did when he was at football. Um, but he came back and he still can jump higher than everybody else and longer. Um, his biggest thing right now is his stature meaning his strength and that's something he's going to have to work on to be a really good uh, every down receiver because he when people get his hands on him they push him around um, and so his strength development is very important this summer. Zach Rogers has been wearing like a sleeve on his leg is that just some kind of is he having swelling or like I, he's I don't got know. one black leg and one white leg. I hope he gets a little swelling because he runs around he looks like peanut brittle. <laughs> I'm going to tell him to take the sleeve off because it'll make him look better. I don't know. I'll check on that one. Remind me on that one, Jim. I will. Yeah. By the way, Jawan, he's got mono. We just found out. So he's probably done for the spring. That's kind of a dagger. They did a blood test. Who are some other guys that could, that could get some work there now? Would you shuffle some things? Or well, just go with what you got? we're going to put Bullard at right tackle, but we were really hoping to rep Bullard some at center. You know, we were getting ready to do that to see if he could play center, but now our hands are tied a little bit at tackle. We're really short on tackles without Jawan, and he was doing really well. So that's disappointing. But he's got Mono. I told him, I always thought Mono you got from kissing girls. And so usually you get it at a young age. Jawan kind of waited. I told him, you must have waited to kiss your first girl till college. You got mono. You know? I better be careful. That's probably, yeah. probably the end of that one. Because I'm not going to go there.